Ooh, more ketchup, more ketchup. Not like the ketchup you eat, but where I catch you up on the books that I read in December of 2014 because I never did that. And I thought maybe I should. Always thinking of you. No, not really. So, in December, I managed to read more books than I did in November, and by that I mean I read three books, which is one more than I read in November. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All in all, December was an okay month. One, I really liked. Other two, average. I will tell you about them. The first book that I read in December was Battle Royale, and I read the novel version, and I'm going to try to get these names right. It's by Koshun Takami, and it was translated by Yuji Onika. And I know Battle Royale, there are, there's a movie version, there is a graphic novel version, and then there is a book book version. And I read the book book version so I could watch the movie on Netflix. And I don't know if I'm going to read the graphic novel versions or not. I don't know. So all in all, I gave it a 3 out of 5. I thought it was okay. I don't think it, it didn't translate that well into being a novel because there are 48 students and it's hard keeping track of 48 students, especially when they all die relatively quickly. Like, uh, any time you would come to a scene with a character that you hadn't heard of before, hadn't been introduced to before, they were going to die. And then it would say, you know, however many students remaining. So it was just hard for me to keep track of who was who, and yeah. But the movie... I enjoyed the movie. It was a little, um, campy, I'm gonna say. Very gory, of course. Because what, what Battle Royale is about, it's about all these kids live in this country. I'm not even sure which country it is, but it's a crazy country. And every couple years, they select so many 8th grade, 7th grade, something, high school classes, and this class of students is taken to an island or some place. They're given, like, weapons and supplies, and then they all have to kill each other until there's only one left. Mm. It's, it's like The Hunger Games, but it came out before The Hunger Games, which is why I wanted to read it. But I just thought it the book form was okay, but it does better as a movie. So... I would watch the movie or maybe even read the graphic novels. Yeah. So the next book that I've read was Revelations by J.A. Souders. This is the second book, Cool to Renegade, which I read in 2013 or 2014. I can't remember. And I really enjoyed Renegade. Um, what that one was about was like this underwater world where this girl... She lives there, and then suddenly this boy from the outside kind of makes his way down there, and she has to escape with him because her world wants to kill him because he's an outsider. So in the second book, in Renegade, our main character is topside. Uh, I believe her name is Eve. Don't quote me on that. I forget. But she's topside now, living topside with the boy that she rescued, and he kind of rescued her. But she's not happy. She wants to go back to the sea, and she wants to do all this stuff. I ended up giving this book a three and a half, or no, a three out of five. I didn't really like it as much as the first one, and I'll tell you why. It's because the main character was super annoying and super whiny, and I guess to stretch this out into a trilogy. The author thought it would be a good idea to give her amnesia so she doesn't remember anything about what happened in the first book. So I didn't really like the amnesia aspect. And secondly, she changed into a very whiny, very unlikable character. Also, there was another boy added into the mix and I wasn't sure if a love triangle was trying to happen or not. It, it really didn't, but second boy kind of distracts you because the first boy is better for her than this new boy that's added. But yeah, I'm excited to, t I, I want to check out the third book, see how it all ends, but I just, I didn't like Renegade that much. It just felt like a second filler book. I didn't like how she has amnesia and just conveniently forgets everything and then yells 
at people when they ask her to remember stuff. She yells, I have amnesia, I don't remember. I, I didn't like that. So, yeah. And then the last book that I read during the month of December 2014 was Erased by Jennifer Rush. This is the second book in the Altered... I'm going to say it's a trilogy. I'm not really sure. Altered is about, it's about this girl. She lives with her dad, and her dad is a scientist, and he has like four hot genetically altered guys in the basement and one day they all escape together and the girl goes with them, Anna goes with them and it's about her finding out stuff about her life and being on the run from this crazy bunch of government branch officials. So I ended up giving a race four out of five. It was super super good. I love these books. They're like action movies and there's tons of action, there's hot guys, there's fighting. Also, the girl can kick people's butts. Like, she's not like some helpless girl that's in a lot of books. Like, she can take care of herself. And I like that. She is cool. And there is one guy in the books, Nick. Mm-hmm. Mm, very interesting. The third book is about him, so I can't wait to read the third book because... And yeah, that's all that I managed to read in December. Uh, I didn't have a very good month that month. I didn't have a very good month in November, but now you're all caught up. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I can get on track with this. Yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!